He texts me from another number after I blocked him. I told Latrice how creepy this guy is. Then Latrice stopped me from talking because she thought she heard something. Then I heard a voice. of something called the dark web. In 2015, the founder of a website called The Silk Road was sentenced to life in prison. Uh, the most common uh, dark web networks that we encounter right now are uh, Tor, ITP. And... A few years ago, more like 10 years ago, I used to be big into visiting weird websites. I had a lot of time on my hand due to not playing sports, nor did I volunteer for anything at all in high school. I told my friend Mark that I was starting to get bored. Honestly, I was bored with what I was experiencing on these websites. He said I should go on a deep web. He and I used to go on a deep web, but never found anything. So I decided to search through some more stuff, a little deeper. I searched for hours every day for about two and a half months. Still nothing that I hadn't seen already. I told Mark, and of course he said, just visit the dark web. When I did go on the dark web, I saw chat rooms, all with different names. I came across one named I, as in E-Y-E. -E. It was all in caps. I entered the chat, but before entering the live chat, you are assigned a number. Mine was P34. I confirmed my number and entered. There were hundreds of people. The comments were coming in quick. At first, I didn't understand what was going on. The screen was black, then a name popped up on the screen that said Mr. Wiggles. The comments immediately stopped and a voice came over my speakers. Welcome P34. Then his name disappeared off of the screen and the comments continued, everyone giving me welcomes. A few minutes go by. Then a countdown from 10 pops up on the screen. Then the chat goes crazy. Once it reached the number one, the screen went straight to what looks like a view from a camera just watching someone in what looks like at their home. I sat there watching this for 20 minutes and nothing happened so I shut down my computer. The next day I went to school, had a normal day, went to Walmart then I went home. I decided to go back on the same chat from before. I confirmed my number P34 and again, there were hundreds of people commenting. Mr. Wiggles popped up and just like before, the comments stopped. Across the screen it said, no new members tonight. Then the countdown started again. Everyone in the chat started going wild. The countdown finished and then it was showing the point of view from a camera again, but it was outside of a school my school from earlier that day. At that point, I was intrigued. I couldn't tell if it was focused on a certain person or just watching the school. After 30 minutes of watching the video, our school bell rang and everyone started to come outside while whoever was recording was positioned across the street in the car. Once everyone came out, the person got out of the car and started to follow a crowd of kids. Everyone started to split from each other and the person recording started to follow someone. It was my friend, Mark. He had to be at least 100 feet behind him. I started to call Mark, but he didn't answer. I kept calling him as I watched the video, but nothing. The person followed him to his house and sat outside of his house for a few minutes. The man behind the camera finally said, No parents are home and he began to walk to Mark's house, rang the doorbell, and waited as he continued to record. A few seconds go by, and Mark opened the door. He looked confused, and the guy said, P34 sent me. And Mark looked afraid, then the camera shut off and everyone in the chat left. So I did too. I called Mark's house phone instead of his cell phone, and his mother answered. I asked for Mark and she said that she thought he was with me. I panicked. I then received a notification on my phone from my Gmail account. 
It said the sender was Mr. Wiggles. The message was, I'm getting closer, P34. Mark says hi. I was shocked and didn't know what to do, so I called the cops. They didn't do anything about it because the email disappeared. I haven't been on the dark web since and no one has seen Mark. Still to this day, I receive messages with pictures of me in random places along with the same written message that said, it can happen anytime. I honestly wish I never went on the dark web. When I was a teenager, I would often explore the deep web with my friends. Specifically, weird stuff on Hidden Wiki. There were definitely a lot of links to choose from. I never clicked on the violent links because I'm not into that. My friend Latrice told me to click on one that says, New Best Friend. After doing so, it takes you to a page where you have to make a profile. I put the name Lisa on my profile. My real name is Susan. Once I made the profile, you are directed to a main page that has categories. They were silly, serious, smart, and smothering. We click smothering. I thought it was funny. After choosing, there was a list of people with their pictures, male and female. I clicked on the profile of a guy that had the name five, like the number five. I entered and it didn't seem like someone who would be a smothering friend. When I was searching through his profile, I received a message from him asking if I were looking for a friend. I looked at Latrice and she laughed, but also told me to respond yes. So we're messaging back and forth for maybe 30 minutes and then Latrice had to go. I told him I'll be back on tomorrow and he said okay. Maybe a week went by where I would talk to him every night. He seemed very nice so we exchanged numbers so we could talk more. Everything seemed fine until I clicked on another profile and someone else messaged me. I started talking with this other person, but still was texting the guy five, which I knew his real name now as William. The new guy had the name Bill on his profile. A day went by and he seemed cool, but then William randomly asked me why I was talking with Bill. I didn't know what to say so I never responded. He kept texting with angry messages, so I blocked him. I didn't receive any texts, only a single message on that site, and it said, soon. One day after school, my friend Latrice came over to have a sleepover. We got comfortable, went to my room, and did our usual of surfing through the web, being nosy. I brought up that guy. Then I received a text message that said, why'd you block me from a random number? I replied with a question mark, then he replied, it's me, William. He texted me from another number after I blocked him. I told Latrice how creepy this guy is, then Latrice stopped me from talking because she thought she heard something. Then I heard a voice. I'm not that creepy. We both responded by screaming and looking around. I saw someone coming from under my bed, so we ran screaming out of my room and my mother called the cops. They didn't get him because he left through my window and nothing could be traced back to him. I'm starting to think that he was both of the people I was talking to. That definitely opened my eyes to the dangers of the internet. I would never visit the dark web again. I'm a guy that loves to live life on the edge. So one day I was searching around on some weird sites on tour. I saw a link that was named Craigslist. It wasn't one word. It was two words, like it was the guy named Craig and it was his list. I wanted to find out what this list was about, so I hit the link. All I saw were items for sale. The thing was, posted everywhere. It says that he delivers everything personally and will come to wherever you want to meet. 
So I wanted to see how authentic this was and ordered some shoes. Within minutes, I received a message from Craig. We messaged back and forth and he offered his phone number. I took it and we started the text. Basically the rest of the night about where to meet. We decided Walmart in the next town over from me, but he never told me where he lived. I figured it's less work for me. So a few days go by without any communication. Then Craig texts me one day, asking if today was a good day to receive my shoes. I said yes. He replied with okay. A few hours went by, and then he asked me if I was home alone and what's my address. I replied with why. It started to get weird. Then he dismissed it and asked my address again, even though we weren't even meeting at my house. So I asked why again. He then replied that he wanted to see if I would lie to him. After that, I didn't reply anymore, but he kept texting me. He kept saying that he was playing and didn't mean to freak me out. Then he became angry and started sending pictures from my webcam. After that, he sent my name and address with a on the way text. I called six of my friends over because I couldn't call the cops and tell them that I was on a legal website and this guy is after me. Nothing happened after my friends came over and nothing after that either. I know this doesn't seem too scary, but it definitely freaked me out. At first, I didn't understand why this guy's link was on the dark web and not the deep web. Now I know why. You can probably guess that I don't go on either one of those anymore.